Hi, my name is Davis Jones. Um, I want to introduce myself to the USF admissions team. I am here in my apartment in Austin, Texas, and I want to give you a two minute spiel about who I am because I know you guys want to make sure that you're letting cool people into USF and I'm interested in getting in USF so I thought this might be a fun way for us to uh, sort of connect um, on over that issue. Anyway, I'm 26 years old. I grew up here in Austin, Texas, but I haven't lived here my whole life. I am currently attending the community college, which is very close to my apartment. I walk there um, almost every day, and um, I've been taking 18-hour course loads since I started, so I spend a lot of my time at the community college right now. Anyway, uh, before I got here to Austin this time, I left, well, so I left Austin when I was about 18 years old. Uh, just after high school and I went to Boston to music school for a brief while and then after that I went to the University of Colorado but I didn't really know what I wanted to study and I felt like I was wasting a lot of my parents money because I was studying like philosophy and then art and I was like oh my gosh what am I even doing I really cared about music so I was in a band and I worked at the local theater and after that I went to Chicago where I got a job at, at, at a, at a, at a well-known music venue called the Metro and to make the, the, my music story shorter, um, I started managing bands uh, because I'm really inclined towards business and organization and stuff and I love music. So I started managing bands and one of the bands I managed was a Chicago band called Walter Migo who ended up getting pretty successful. They got signed to Sony Columbia Records and I moved out to New York to work in the music biz business and, and work with their label which was based out of New York. So I went from Boston to Ch Colorado to Chicago to New York and when I was working for the band I did some amazing stuff. I um, worked with their publishers in France and in England, so I would make I would make trips often to London and to England. I uh, worked with Virgin Records to have a single release for Walter Migo there. So I, this was when I was about 24 years old or something, um, and so it was cool. I, they eventually had record deals in Japan and in Australia, in England, and they had a publishing deal in Europe as well as the United States and Canada. So I was kind of all over in all those places working on the stuff for the band and it was a great experience. I got to deal with a lot of different countries and music co companies in these different countries and all these creative people and I got to deal with money and so I learned a lot about business and stuff. It was totally awesome. Anyway, I decided that I wanted to learn Mandarin before I, you know, had like a girlfriend and stuff and, um, and, and before I kind of settled down. So I decided to move to China and to manage the band from China and try to promote them in China. And I did that. And so I lived in China for about a year and a half and I worked on some deals for them in China. And then after that I moved down to Chile because I met a friend from Santiago whose uh, grandfather was the president, former president of Peru. So he was really like well connected in South America. So I went down there to go and check it out because I was curious about that and I figured, man, I'm never going to have an opportunity like this again. So I went down there and I was still kind of managing the last bits of the band but kind of transitioning out of that and checking out some business opportunities in South America. Anyway, then I came back to Austin and I decided, hey, you know, if I'm going to be serious about doing some cool stuff with my life, I better get a degree. So I've been at the community college for about a year. Um, I have scholastic excellence. My GPA is 4.0 at the community college, but you'll see my GPA and my transcript is like 3.95 because of some C's that I got at um, Colorado. Um, anyway, I'm a member of Phi Theta Kappa. I ran for local office here recently um, because the Board of Trustees for Austin Community College is publicly elected. We have 41,000 students and we have no student representative. So I ran against um, three other seasoned political people, but I ended up getting 20% of the vote. I got the support of some of the key Democratic clubs here in Travis County and some key members of the political environment here in Austin, Texas for the political scene. And it was awesome. A lot of hard work. Um, I didn't end up winning, but I learned so much and that's what I wanted to do. So here I am. I'm about to finish up with two associate's degrees um, from Austin Community College. One is an um, associate's of science in environmental science and technology. The other is in economics. And I'm hoping to continue on a path of like business and organizational involvement that can serve the world and serve the communities 
around in, in which these enterprises are involved in a cool way. So I want to make money, I want to have a good life for myself, but I also want to make sure that, uh, what, that the endeavors in which I'm involved do cool things for people. So that's kind of why I did the environmental science and technology degree is that I think that this environmental um, synthesis with enterprise is going to be a major issue in our lifetime. So I wanted to have a good healthy background in that before I went on into um, whatever enterprises I do after college. Um, so I plan to keep kind of on that path. I would like to maybe work with some venture capital firms in the Bay Area after college and eventually go on to maybe study economics at an advanced level or maybe get an MBA and um, so I can kind of make these organizations in which I'm involved um, you know more economically efficient and um, can actually make an impact in the marketplace in a good way in a way that makes sense for consumers not just because it's you know morally cool or whatever to be environmentally friendly but actually because it is um, economically cool. I think that that's, uh, that's true innovation and that's rad. Anyway, so that's me. I'm Davis Jones. I hope that you all let me into USF. But anyway, thanks for taking the time to uh, watch this video. I hope you'll have a good day. Bye.